Now that we've gone through all three of the primary trig ratios, let's look at some questions that have more than one right triangle in them to solve. These are going to be multi-step questions where you have to find one piece in order to be able to find the next piece. First off, what we're doing here is only going to work with right triangles, so you have to have that to start with. Then you have to be able to label your triangle correctly. Remember the hypotenuse is always the longest side of your triangle. Then we have to pick an angle to be looking from. If I'm looking from this angle, I go to the far side of the triangle from my opposite side. And the side that is closest to my angle that I'm looking from, that is not my hypotenuse, that's my adjacent side. Next, my trig ratios. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse and tan of theta equals opposite over adjacent. Please write Sokoto at the top of every page where you're going to be working. It's a quick and easy reference for you. Here's our first question. Find the length of side xy. So we're trying to find the length of this side right here. But when I look at that triangle, this triangle right here, I only know one piece of information. I only know this 22 degree angle. That's not enough information for me to solve that triangle. I need at least one side length. If I look at this triangle over here, I've got an angle and I've got a length, and yes, it is a right triangle. I've got enough information on that triangle to find other pieces. Now, sometimes you're going to be able to look at the whole big outside triangle in one part. The problem with doing that right now is we don't know what whether this is a 90 degree angle. And it's not good enough to say, well, it looks close enough. It has to be exactly 90 degrees for this to work. So we're actually going to work with this triangle on the right to start. And I'm going to use that triangle to find this side. Once I know that side that's common to both triangles, I can take it and solve this triangle. Let's get started. So I'm starting with that right hand triangle. As I mentioned earlier, always start by writing Sokotoa down. All right, on this question, we want to find this side right there in order for us to be able to solve the rest of the question. I'm looking from that angle, so I can start to put in my sides. I'm going to label my sides. This is my hypotenuse because the right angle points at it. And the far side of the triangle from the angle I'm looking from, that's the opposite side. And that leaves this other leg that's right next to my angle to be my adjacent side. All right, so I want my opposite side. I have my hypotenuse. The adjacent side doesn't really matter in this question, so I'm going to cross out any of the trig ratios that use the adjacent side. Cos uses adjacent side. It's not helpful to us. Tan uses adjacent side. It's not helpful to us. So this step, we are going to use sine. Write my formula down. Sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Let's put in the pieces that we know. I know my angle, so I'm going to put that in. So sine of 20 degrees equals, I don't know my opposite. And because it goes from W to Y, I'm going to call that side WY divided by, and I know my hypotenuse, so that is 8.4 centimeters. Now let's do a quick little shortcut when we're writing this. I'm actually not going to pull my calculator out just yet. I need to get WY on its own, so I'm going to times both sides here by 8.4 times this side by 8.4. Now I can write that down as 8.4 times the sine. Of 20 degrees. If you're multiplying something by a sine or a cos or a tan, always put the number in front so you never get it mixed up and accidentally multiply it by the degrees before you do your sine ratio. And then that equals wy. Now I can pull up my calculator. We're going to kind of do it in one step here. Do your trig ratio first, then multiply the side in. Now remember, I am looking for what is the trig ratio of the sine of 20. So I know my angle and I want to find the ratio. So I'm going to use just regular sine, not second function. So 20 degrees, sine, and the ratio is 0.3420. I'm going to times that by 8.4. Side WY equals 2.8729. Let's round it off to 2.9 centimeters. That's not my answer, but I am going to use it to find my answer. I'm going to put a box around it so I can find it again quickly. And I'm going to come back for that. So now let's look at that left hand triangle. I now know one of the sides off of it. I have just calculated this side right here to be 2.9 centimeters. I now know an angle and a side. I've got two pieces of information on a right angle triangle I can find for the part I want. And this is the part that the question asks for side XY. Let's label the sides of this triangle. 
That's the angle I'm looking from. The longest side of the triangle is always the hypotenuse. Remember, that angle looks at it. From the angle I'm looking from, the far side of the triangle is my opposite, and the side beside my angle is the adjacent side. Always write down SOHCAHTOA. Let's figure out which ratio we need. I have my adjacent. I'm looking for my hypotenuse. In this case, that opposite side is the side we're not worried about. So anything with an opposite, we're going to ignore. Sine has opposite. Not useful to us right now. Tan has opposite. Not useful. This is a cosine question. Cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's put in what we know. Cos, I know my angle, it's 22 degrees, so it's cos of 22 degrees equals my adjacent side, I know that as well, 2.9 centimeters divided by my hypotenuse. Now that's the piece I don't know, that's what I'm trying to solve for, and I'm going to call it xy because it's side xy. All right, let's do a couple of shortcuts as we're figuring this out. Instead of punching the numbers in, I'm going to times both sides by xy, times that side by xy, which gives me xy times the cos 22 degrees equals, those two cancel each other out, 2.9 centimeters. I want to get xy all by itself, so I'm going to take both sides and divide it by cos of 22. These two pieces cancel each other out. Let's pull out a calculator and do this all in one step. Because my cos is on the bottom this time, I'm going to have to do my side first. So 2.9 divided by, I'm going to go 22, and then cos. Now that's not my answer. I still have to hit the equal sign in order to do the actual dividing piece. What I've got on my calculator right there is just my cosine ratio. So don't miss hitting the equal sign on this last piece. There we go. Side xy equals 3.1 centimeters. And there's my side. Now let's go back up to the original picture. We'll put the number in there. Let's just use our intuition to see if it makes sense. So if I mark this as 3.1 centimeters, does it seem in line with the other number we've been given? Yeah, I think it does. So to me, that feels like a correct answer.